What's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. So here you can see the man Danny Jacobs preparing for his, um, you know, sparring, doing some pad work with his trainer. Um, what's his name? Andre Rogier. But you know, um, the man Danny Jacobs, I believe this is Gleason's gym right here where he's doing his, um, his pad work and stuff. But um, for this particular fight with Triple G, the man um, Danny Jacobs is traveling, has traveled to Oakland, California, and he's going to be training um, in um, Virgil Hunter's gym, you know? Virgil Hunter, of course, the trainer of um, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet, Andre Ward. Well, actually, that's what this video is here is about. Um, all these new... Um, all these new people that um, Danny Jacobs has um, in his corner as far as um, training, getting ready for this big fight at MSG versus Gennady Golovkin. All these guys in his corner, um, he has, of course, he's going to have Andre Ward helping him train, uh, probably doing some sparring with Danny Jacobs. Uh, he also, Danny Jacobs has also, um, what's that guy's name? What's my guy's name? Chris Algieri. Chris Algeri um, is going to be in the camp of Danny Jacobs as, as a nutritionist, you know, basically rationing what kind of portions of food Danny Jacobs eats, you know, basically trying to keep him, um, you know, keep him fit for training camp where it won't be like a weight a weight loss training camp. And, um, you know, that's what Chris Algeri is there for, you know, to being the nutritionist, you know. So with all these additions in his... um in Danny Jacobs' um, training camp for his big fight. You think any of these um, additions are going to help the man Danny Jacobs? You know, because at the end of the day, it's not Chris Algeria and Andre Ward, Andre Rozier and uh, Virgil Hunter going to be. It's not going to be a four-man tag team fight. At the end of the day, in the ring, it's going to be Danny Jacobs versus um, Danny Jacobs versus Triple G. And my question is, you think these guys, you know, the nutritionist and Chris Algeri, Andre Ward, um, you know, I'm sure Andre Ward has been had a game plan to beat Triple G because that's a fight that he's longed for from a long time, especially when he was at 168. That was basically the reason he forced himself to move up to 175, you know what I mean? Because Triple G didn't want to meet him halfway for... For any other fights, he just, um, Triple G wanted to call the shots while Andre Ward had been a guy who's, you know, a, a guy who's been a mainstay in the pound for pound list, a more established fighter. Now, do you think these two guys, the nutritionists and Andre Ward and even um, Virgil Hunter, you think their expertise could help the man Danny Jacobs win the fight? Um, I tend to think that, you know, it's good to have the nutritionist to eat well, you know, so you could um, actually just focus 100% on sparring and your opponent in um, training camp, you know. But um, a guy like, uh, what's his name, Chris Algeri, he's a guy who I've seen coming overweight for a fight and supposedly he's supposed to have a master's in, um, in um, nutrition, you know what I mean? Okay, and Andre Andre Ward, I mean, it don't hurt to have Andre Ward, one of the best powerful ponders on the planet in your corner, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, if this man, Danny Jacob, doesn't soak in all the um, information and, um, you know, and everything and encouraging from, from guys like Virgil Hunter and um, Andre Ward, man, then... Sh it might be easy work, a quick night for the man Triple G, you know. I believe the man, um, what's his name, Danny Jacobs is a better boxer, you know what I'm saying. But um, he's also a guy who possesses serious power with all them stoppages he has and knockouts. So it's going to be a good fight, man. And I just hope them additions of them guys I mentioned from Oakland, California, you know, will, um, will come a long way and help him out in the fight and hopefully give him a victory, you know, cause a major upset in boxing, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section if you think these additions make any uh, improvements and will help the man Danny Jacobs in his big fight come uh, December, March 18th at MSG in New York, Madison Square Garden. Let me know what you think about him training out on the West Coast. 
He said that there's a lot of distractions in New York, which I believe so, especially for the biggest fight of his career. So let me know in the comment section what you think about these additions, and I'm going to catch you on the next vid. I'm not too sold too much on this trainer, this Andre Rogier guy. But um, we shall see, man. Danny Jacobs had that big win over Peter Quillen, which I did predict he would do. Not in that fashion in one round, but we shall see what Danny Jacobs brings. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next bit. Let me know in the comment section what you think about um, his new additions in his training camp. All right, be Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. Peace.